Let's graph each of these numbers on this number line. So for example, to graph negative 5, I'll place a dot here on the tick mark representing the position of negative 5. So here is my graph of negative 5. Next, let's graph 0. So we'll find 0, and there's the tick mark for 0. And I place a dot on it. That is the graph, then, of 0. Let's graph 2. So I'll find 2 on my number line. And there's the graph of 2. Now let's graph negative 6 and 5 tenths. Now here's negative 6. And here's negative 7. Negative 6 and 5 tenths is halfway between negative 6 and negative 7. So there is the graph of negative 6 and 5 tenths, right there. And then let's graph negative 1 and 2 thirds. There's negative 1 and there's negative 2. Negative 1 and 2 thirds, that's going to be, here's negative 1, and then I'll move 2 thirds of the way toward negative 2. I'll place a dot here, and that is the graph of negative 1 and 2 thirds.